Hey, it's Bob. Welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to actually give a product review for this uh, Modway TV stand that I purchased on Amazon. I actually got it in October and um, I'm going to link below. I actually did a, a live video putting it together. And just a disclaimer, I didn't actually finish putting it together in the live video because <laughs> it took a long time to build. So I wanted to give you a few of the pros and cons of this um, TV stand. And um, that way, if you're interested in purchasing, I'll put the link below and you'll kind of pretty much know what you're getting. So um, I'm going to start with the positives. They're pretty easy to figure out. I mean, it's a very good looking um, piece for a very good price. So those two right there are pretty much the main reasons that I bought it. And it's already been a few months and I'm really happy with it. I don't have uh, too many complaints. Um, the One of the really good things also is the size. It's 59 inches. And so I don't know exactly what size this television is, but it's pretty big. So you can pretty much be um, secure that it's most likely going to fit your TV unless it's an enormous um, TV. The uh, It has uh, storage in here and then it has storage um, on the sides. So kind of one of the minor complaints is that you could see this is glass behind the uh, behind this. And so it's kind of if you're a little bit OCD like me, you kind of have to be careful with what you put in there. Because like, for example, here you could see the white from the magazines. And then on this side, I have my PlayStation and some games. So, you know, you can kind of see it uh, through the glass. Not really a huge deal, I would say. Obviously, I still love the piece. Um, another one of the little negatives, it's not real wood. So, you know, I'm not sure if you could see here, I may uh, post a, a zoom in over here. But so when it does get nicked, you should definitely buy a pen, one of those pens to uh, clean up the nicks because then you could kind of see the it's not obviously wood all the way through, so it kind of gets like a whitish gray mark if you do um, if you do scratch it. So definitely, I would have a furniture pen or something like that on hand if you kind of have kids or animals and stuff like that. Um, another one of the things that I kind of don't like, you can kind of see it here in the video. Um, I have like a, a lamp and other stuff, so all the plugs. Um, you can kind of see it under the wires. Um, it doesn't really bother me too much. I usually, if I, you know, if it bothers me, you can kind of get a rubber band and just band them up. I've sometimes tried to tape the, the thing that you plug all the plugs into, into the back, um, of this. But the problem is that this is the entrance of my apartment. So when you walk in, you could see the back. So for me, it's not really a good idea to tape up the plugs in the back because then it just looks kind of crazy. It's just something you just have to get used to um, or just kind of maybe, you know, put your plugs in, get an extension and just kind of pull them away from behind the, the piece of furniture. But other than that, aside that it was a pain to, to build, I really don't find anything wrong with it. I think for this price point, it's pretty cool. Like it's mid-century. It's ri the the other issue. I mean, it's not an issue. What I like about it is that you can see under, even though you can see the wires and stuff like that. I actually like the fact that you could see under because you know I I kind of got sick of. I had a dresser here before, and you know it, it kind of like I don't know if it's um, <laughs> feng shui or whatever, but I like furniture that you could see under you can clean it up real quick i haven't cleaned it a little bit i don't know if it'll come through in the video but um you know so i kind of like that and i think that's a characteristic of mid-century furniture so that's also i would say a plus and again the storage is really good and i would say for the price it looks a lot more expensive than it actually is i don't know what the price is now because obviously amazon is um changes the prices but i mean this to me is definitely a, a no-brainer it's really simple and then again, if you have um, any issues building it, I pretty much got up to where I had built this part. I think all I needed to do was add the, the bottom of it in the video, which I didn't do. I only had about 15 minutes more to do before I ended that live stream. But the live stream was just a bad idea. <laughs> I was, uh, it was late at night. I had worked all day and 
I was kind of frustrated. And so don't be surprised. You're going to get a bunch of little pieces. Again, that's kind of what it's just like Ikea. You know, if you want a really good price on something that looks cool, you're going to have to build it yourself and it is going to be a pain. But at least, you know, you can maybe fast forward through that video if you need any troubleshooting. I did make a couple mistakes, but it's nothing uh, major. But yeah, I would definitely give it a thumbs up. I'll provide the link below and I'll also link to the live stream where you can uh, check out the building process. So if you like this uh, product review, hit thumbs up. If you want more reviews like this, subscribe and uh, let me know in the comments if you've either purchased this piece or you have any questions about it that I can maybe answer in the comments.